G'day, Chris Showalter, Program Director with MAPS. Brian O'Halloran, Senior Faculty with MAPS. We're going to take a look at refinement of the hip quadrant assessment. The hip quadrant is a movement into a combination of three different directions. The first is flexion, the second is internal rotation, the third is into adduction. We start out by gently draping our hands over the top of the knee. If the patient's knee allows and can go down into flexion, we can leave it there. If they can't tolerate that, we can come underneath the knee, take some pressure off the knee. So we can take them into flexion, and what we're looking for is R1, 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 and as necessary, going all the way into R2. Michael, you let me know if this bothers you. You okay there, brother? Yep. Okay, so that's the flexion component. So then we can take a look at the internal rotation component. Where do we get R1? Where is R2 with the internal rotation? And then we can look at the adduction component. Where is R1? Where is R2? Now we can combine them together. Go up into flexion, examine, add some rotation and a little adduction, more rotation, more adduction, more rotation, more adduction, and at the final point, I'm aiming his knee at his offside shoulder. So I'd like to point out a couple of things that are characteristic of what Chris is doing that needs to be the manner in which we perform this. I like to joke, but really it's not a joke. I mean, manual therapy is a full contact sport. Notice where Chris is in relation to our patient's leg. And as he moves into flexion, his body is moving with the leg. As he comes back out and explores internal rotation, he's moving with the leg. There's no friction, there's no change in position of the leg with respect to Chris's body. His body is doing the movement. The movement's being generated from his legs. His legs are doing the work, the body's coming along for the ride. If he does that, he's got tremendous opportunity to be sensitive to resistance and be able to respond and react to the patient when they do report that response, whether it be pain or onset of discomfort, however they choose to describe it. But the body mechanics here are imperative. It's a body movement, it's movement with the extremity. What you do not want to do and what I choose not to do and I don't want to see is this. This, this. It's putting the body up close. Thanks.